All right. So I can't put it off any longer. We've got to talk about the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula gives you the solution to any quadratic equation you like. So if you can get everything to one side and you have it laid out as ax squared plus bx plus c, the two solutions to this equation are what make up the quadratic formula. And those two solutions are minus b plus or minus, which is where the two solutions come in, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is one way to solve a quadratic equation. It's kind of the method of last resort because it's rather tedious and cumbersome. One of the simpler methods, assuming you can reliably pull it off, is to simply factor the quadratic into two pieces. So, for example, say we have uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6. And if you realize, you know, after a bit of thought, you can factor this into x plus 2 times x plus 3. Because if we FOIL this out, x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x plus 2 times x, which is 2x. 3x plus 2x is 5x. And finally, 2 times 3 gives you 6. There's various ways to try to factor quadratics. You can do it by uh, trial and error. When the leading coefficient a here is 1, factoring just amounts to finding two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to 5. There's a more sophisticated method which works when a here is not, is not 1. <coughs> Excuse me. And there may be other methods that I'm not aware of, but those are the things that I've known about and have seen for a while. There's a thing called uh, completing the square, which itself is rather nasty, but you can kind of fake it, because basically all it's doing is to convert from the standard form into vertex form and solve. So you use that h is minus b over 2a, find k from h, and then solve the equation. So in this case, h would be minus b over 2a, b in this case is 5, a in this case, since I don't see a number multiplying x squared, I can take it to be 1. So it'll be 2 times 1. So h in this case is minus 5 halves, k will be plugging minus 5 halves in for x here. Plus 5 times minus 5 halves plus 6. And this is going to be minus 5 halves times minus 5 halves is just 5 halves times 5 halves, which is 25 over 4. It's 5 times 5, 5 squared, divided by 2 squared. 
and then this 5 is 5 over 1 so we get minus 25 over 1 times 2 which is 2 plus 6 so then I've got a quarter of 25 minus half of 25 taking a quarter away from a half uh, leaves me with just a quarter remaining so this is minus 25 over 4 plus 6 and 6 is 24 over 4 if I multiply top and bottom by 4 so that gets me minus 1 over 4 so this x squared plus 5x plus 6 I can rewrite this as 1a times x minus a minus 5 halves squared plus a minus 1 fourth and this is equal to 0 so I can move the 1 fourth over take square roots of both sides and then solve for x that's the gist of completing the square oh and I forgot to mention that in this case if you have you finish this off by saying that well the product of two numbers if the product of two numbers is zero the only way that can happen is if one of those two numbers is zero and in our case the first number is x plus two so it could be that x plus two is zero or it could be the second number which in our case is x plus three or that could be equal to zero the third way that you can solve a quadratic is with the quadratic formula which is what I have written here and I'm gonna go through that with you now using this example that we have so let's take a look uh, so I need to know a B and C well, we already found A. A was 1. B, we see, is 5. And C is quite clearly 6. So X is going to be minus B, so minus 5, plus or minus square root of 5 squared, minus 4 times A, which in our case is 1, times C, which is 6 here. And then all of that's going to be divided by 2 times a. So 2 times 1. And then you just proceed to simplify this as much as possible. So this is minus 5. 5 squared is 25. 4 times 6 is 24. And times 1 doesn't add anything to it. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have minus 5 plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. So that's minus 5 plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. And square root of 1 is just 1, so this is minus 5 plus or minus 1 divided by 2. So plus or minus means we could take the plus, we could do minus 5 plus 1 and divide by 2, or we could go the other route and take the minus. So that would be minus 5 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4 then we still have to divide by 2 minus 5 minus 1 is a minus 6 and we have to divide that by 2 and that leaves us with 2 minus 2 or minus 3 as our solutions 
Now it's a matter of preference. Whichever you choose to do. Some people like to do quadratic formula because factoring is too difficult for them. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Other people like to do factoring first to at least try it before they do quadratic formula because they find quadratic formula too long and messy. Fine. No problem with that. If you want to convert to ver vertex form, find H and K and then you know, solve it that way. There's no problem with that. However you solve it, so long as it's correct, is fine. All I care about is that how you're solving these equations is simply correct.